In this video, we address the question of why ice forms on the top of a lake in winter and does not freeze from the bottom. So let's get started. The reason why ice forms on a lake is the density anomaly of water, commonly referred to as negative thermal expansion. Density anomaly refers to the phenomenon that water first contracts as usual when cooled, but suddenly begins to expand below a temperature of 4 degrees Celsius. At 4 degrees Celsius, water therefore has the smallest volume and the highest density. In simple terms, water is therefore heaviest at 4 degrees Celsius. The density anomaly has existential importance for life on Earth. More precisely, for life underwater. Due to the density anomaly, layers of water with different temperatures form in still waters. This thermal stratification is due to the different density of water, which is caused by the different temperatures. Depending on the temperature, heavy water sinks to the bottom of a lake while lighter water rises to the top. The transitions between the temperatures of the individual layers are of course smooth. Since water has the highest density at 4 degrees Celsius and is therefore the heaviest, it will sink to the bottom of the lake. In summer, the warmer water layers will settle above the 4 degrees Celsius cold ground layer due to the lower density. As a result of the decreasing density with increasing temperature, the water temperature will steadily increase towards the water surface. While the water surface of deep waters can be relatively warm in summer, depending on the intensity of the sun, the water at the bottom will generally not heat up above 4 degrees Celsius. This is especially the case in very deep or still waters, where there are hardly any currents that lead to a mixing of the layers. When the temperature of the bottom layer rises above 4 degrees Celsius in shallow water or during longer periods of heat, the layer of water with the lowest temperature accumulates at the bottom and warmer layers of water lie above it. In autumn the water will cool down gradually. The temperature of the relatively warm surface layer will drop accordingly. Thus, the temperature difference between bottom layer and surface layer will become smaller and smaller. The temperatures of the different water layers will equalize more and more. Sooner or later, a uniform temperature of 4 degrees Celsius will be reached throughout the entire water. This will also be the case if the water has warmed up to 5 degrees Celsius in summer, for example. In this case, a uniform temperature of 5 degrees Celsius will first form when the water cools down. Further cooling may result in a 4 degrees Celsius layer on the surface for a short time. However, due to its greater density, this water layer will then sink to the ground. The warmer layers are thus forced to the surface and also cool down. Finally, even in such a case, sooner or later a uniform temperature of 4 degrees Celsius will be reached throughout the entire water. If the cold water of 4 degrees Celsius continues to cool down further in winter, the colder layers will no longer sink to the ground. Because due to the thermal negative expansion, those cooler layers are lighter. In the temperature range between 4 degrees Celsius and 0 degrees Celsius applies, the colder the water, the lighter it will be. This is the actual density anomaly of water, since it no longer contracts but expands as it cools. As a result, the warmer and therefore heavier layers of water will no longer accumulate on the water surface in winter as in summer, but rather the colder and therefore lighter layers of water will be at the surface. Finally, the solidification temperature of 0 degrees Celsius is reached first on the water surface. For this reason, ice always begins to form first on the surface of a lake. If the water is deep enough, the cold will usually not penetrate to the deep layers, and thus the water will not freeze completely. Note that water has only a very low thermal conductivity. In the deeper layers, the water usually remains liquid at around 4 degrees Celsius. The fact that a body of water freezes from above due to the density anomaly, and thus usually does not freeze completely, ensures the survival of the animals in it. Without the density anomaly of water, the cold water layers would sink to the ground in winter. The warmer layers would be displaced and rise to the surface. This would lead to a rapid cooling of the water until it freezes completely. The fish in such waters would not survive. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thanks for watching.